So this week, Circle launched live streams, which is a brand new feature that will allow you to host live streams within your Circle community. So in this video, we're going to be checking out that feature as well as some of the other things that they've shipped over the last eight months. So without further ado, let's get into it. <music> Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So this week has been a pretty big week for anyone that runs a circle community. After announcing live streams about two and a half months ago, they finally shipped it and now you can host live streams within your circle community. So yesterday I went and attended the product launch of live streams within the circle community and I must say having experienced what live stream looks like inside of circle for the first time gets me super pumped about setting up my own live streams. And so I decided decided today that I wanted to do an updated review video of Circle to show you what you can do with it, some of the things that they have shipped over the last eight months since my last Circle review video, and show you why I still believe that Circle is hands down the best tool to use to manage an online community. Now, this video is not sponsored. This is just a personal review from someone that runs two Circle communities and really loves the product, but I have added an affiliate link in the description down below. So if you are considering setting up your own Circle community, then smash that link. It helps out a lot. Also, while you're down there, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, but with all of that out of the way, let's get into it. So just in case you are brand new to Circle, I want to give you the rundown of some of the basics. So the first thing to know is that Circle is essentially a tool that you can use to create your own community forum. So one of the main ideas behind it is that you can basically create different topics or threads and then within those threads you can have discussions about different things within certain posts. So in this case we have a topic for different community tutorials that are created by our community members and inside of that topic you have a whole bunch of different posts created by community members where they basically show off certain tutorials that they have made for our niche now prior to using circle i use slack and one of the main issues with slack is that because everything happens in a feed all of the discussions that you're having kind of disappear over time which makes it really difficult for people who are just joining the community to get caught up to speed to get involved in different discussions and that is what i believe is the key problem that circle solves so ever since shifting the unicorn factory community from slack to circle i've seen a huge increase in engagement i have also seen a wider range of freelancers get involved in different discussions and ultimately if you want to keep your retention of members high you just need to use a tool that makes engaging and communicating with each other super easy and honestly circle ticks those boxes for me big time so another thing that has worked absolute wonders for member engagement and member retention is the fact that they have now also launched an ios and android app meaning that you can actually engage with your community on the go another thing that circle does really well is allowing you as a community organizer to host and organize events so you can simply set up an event and then Circle will take care of notifying all of your different community members and then they can respond directly inside of your event post by ISVPing then they can add it to their calendar and that again has been something that has been really awesome when it's come to engaging with the community a bit more effectively and so the events feature is another thing that I've appreciated a lot. So since making my last review video about eight months ago Circle has shipped a whole bunch of new features that are an absolute game changer and one of the bigger ones is pay paywalls that allows you to create paid groups. So the way that paywalls works is that you can create a private group and then in that private group create content that members can only access when they upgrade to a paid account. So an example of that is this little mini course that I am creating for freelancers on the Unicorn Factory and so I'm still working on it at the moment but at some point if members want to access all of these different resources they'll just simply be able to upgrade for a one-off fee and then access all of the different videos and modules inside of this private group. So there are a lot of really cool things that you can do with this feature. For example, you can create separate paywalls, you can set different pricing intervals so you can make it monthly, annual, one-off, whatever, and then you can hide certain groups that may already be in existence behind these paywalls, and you can also do things like create coupons, and the good thing about all of this is it connects directly to your Stripe account, so any payments that get made get paid out directly to your Stripe account. And then there are a whole bunch of additional little things that are not worth diving into too much detail about. I like their notification system and their inbuilt analytics. That is really cool. But I want to shift our attention to the feature that we've been waiting 
waiting for, and that is the ability to create live streams within your circle community. Now, the way that it works is pretty simple. You just create your own stream account. You can also uh, record the stream if you want, which is super handy. And then you can just jump straight into the stream setup where you can simply connect your camera. And as soon as everything is connected, you can simply jump into the backstage where the stream essentially starts. Now, the good thing about this is that you can now invite different people into your stream as co-hosts. You can bring people who are in your community on board. And so this is something that really allows you to shift from something like Zoom to Circle. So this feature is only two days old, so I haven't had a chance to play around with my own live stream yet. However, I have attended the live stream that Circle hosted to launch live streams. And the experience of being in there as a member was fantastic. So some of the key things that you can do at a real high level is bring guests onto the stage to have a discussion. So if someone have a, has a simple one-off question, you can just simply bring them on board, answer the question. Another thing that is really good is that there's a live chat functionality. So if someone in the audience has a quick question, you can just drop it in there. And overall, this is fantastic because at the moment I am paying Zoom a decent amount of money every month to run live streams with our community. So being able to bring this natively into Circle is an absolute game changer. So I've been using Circle to run the Unicorn Factory for about 12 months now. I also recently set up a new Circle community for Code Meets No Code and I must say that compared to all of the other tools that I use except for maybe Airtable, Circle has probably been the company that has been most consistent in shipping useful product features. And another thing that has become very apparent to me especially over the last six months is that the people who are actually building Circle have a very good understanding of the creator economy. They understand what different tools are being used out there by different creators and they're basically bringing it all into one which is phenomenal because it makes the whole process of running a community first business a lot easier. So I think that anyone who has considered setting up an online community has got a huge opportunity to get started without the barrier of having to use a million different tools and I think another huge opportunity is for companies like co-working spaces that rely typically on physical locations to move some of their business online because to me this essentially is like a co-working space online and I think with everything there you can just simply come up with a niche connect with people share interests and do that without the hassle that is typically associated with sometimes running things like discords or slack communities and also there's a whole bunch more to circle obviously you can tell I'm a huge fan of it and if you want to see what more you can do with it just simply jump onto their website and do their 14 day trial I honestly think that if you are interested in a certain topic and you want to build a community around it you cannot go wrong but with all of that being said that is my 2022 circle review I might be making another one in six months if things keep going the way that they are other than that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button other than that I'll see you back here for the next one Thank you.